If you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money. You should too. The link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out. Link's in the description. Thank you. So we'll get them all over there. Everybody over here. More tankage. Get everybody in. And now I need everything over to Kaiser's Larson. Look at the size of that stack. Look at the number. Oh, this is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like that. That is certainly going to be something. Still wriggling around. Excellent. Phase, which is some gas. Do that. Just gas that and they all roll out of there. If, if we can. Excellent. They're now running away. I can do with gassing them. I don't like them. This means now we have men in position everywhere. Oh, them, men, there. That ain't gonna do them any good if we just gas them. In this way. Oh, man, that ain't gonna be friendly. Look at the state. We're dying from gas. Let's gas it all. Not having a good day. Let's get these Americans in there quickly. Howdy doody everybody, welcome back to another Moist Tea Gaming video where we are murdering more Germans right near the capital of the enemy. We are going to surround them and blow them to bits and starve them to death. Sounds like a very Moist Tea way of doing things and very shortly we're going to have tanks in there as well to cause extra havoc. We've had the option to murder the capital and get this over and done with a little bit sooner than we wanted to. However, I just want to go and get Ingelhelm and <laughs> see if that surrounds the entire enemy army just to have a play around. Which also gives us time to get the tanks in. We last left this where we had a gander at Kreisnack from Sproyer and then we smashed our way in a blizzard to Simurn, which we have managed to grab, and now there is Ingelhelm here, which is the one of the few remaining towns, which we're going to plow through and then blow them to bits. Before we do properly get into this, I have a question for everybody. Do you want me to go through another campaign? This is the game that started my channel to actually get somewhere decent. And I am very grateful for you all. However, there are other options. For example, Bannerlord. I've never actually played Bannerlord. I played the original uh, Warband and such, but... I've always wanted to have a dabble, and I do believe that there is a big patch coming in soon. Currently it's in beta, but I'm thinking of having a dabble at that. It's lots of death and destruction, and that sounds glorious. The arms trade tank one has really slowed down now. I'll just be doing periodic update videos on that one, I think. The Kingdoms and Castles playlist, I'll run it through to once I've blown everybody up in that and then leave that there. That playlist is because I wanted to test the water for a new game which is going to be coming out called Roma Nova. Just to see what everybody thought of that. It's basically a reskin. But to see if I enjoy it, really. The Railway, Railway Empire one has ended. That just wasn't getting enough views to warrant carrying on. Terror and Victor, I am going to carry on with that one, even though it's not getting too many views. We're getting to the point now where soon we're going to be having space combat. 
Then we have Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. 100% I'll be carrying on with that. I love that game. But I want to keep the number of games low. I kind of spread out and now I want to focus back in again. Which will mean that... Because I do do two videos every single day. And if I can concentrate on a couple of... Two or f maximum three games, that will mean I can really, really progress in these scenarios really quickly. Which I think is better for everybody, for you and myself. Because I've found as I've spread around, I kind of forget where I'm at. <laughs> Which ain't great, really. And not only that, but there's a lot of big games potentially coming out this year. And I want to be ready to jump on that. To provide you with superior entertainment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want me to do another one, I am potentially going to do so. Or have you had enough and want something fresh and juicy? Personally, I do feel like I've done most things that I possibly can in this game. And really, I think I might wait to return to this game once a large DLC has come out, for example, an Italian front section. I honestly think that that will be best. But like I said, let us know in the comments. I'll put a poll up on the community tab, have a dabble. And come join me in the Discord. Seriously, guys, I'm in there a lot. You can come and talk to me whenever. I'll do recording streams in there. I play all, you know, just last night, for example, I was playing a game with Lion War with Soggy Bap. <laughs> That's his nickname. For people to come and just join and have a chat in a game. It was good fun. Seriously, come and join. Well, back to business. Let's get to murdering some of these guys. So we last had it where uh, there's lots of battles going on and I need to end the turn. We're going to watch these formations. It's winter, so we're going to go into 1918 now. They aren't murdering us anymore. Interesting. Right, else. What have they done? <gasps> oh! Oh! We have. <laughs> We've surrounded them all. They can't do anything. <laughs> well, I wasn't too sure if that was going to work, but it has. I genuinely thought because Ingelhelm here had a doodar and it would be all right, but there isn't one here to connect it. A few people have been saying, oh, there isn't one there, but I, I don't know. I think I was just a bit blind to it. This might be the final episode. Let's get a research done of these tanks. Tank warfare. Yes, please. Oh, wait. Oh, what was that? Oh, here we go. New weapon of war. Well, it's not. Because the Germans have had them for a while. And that's the thought, actually. There was an update on this where the Germans did get light tanks, which is quite cool. I've not seen them yet, but we're right at the end anyway. There's all sort of recon plane that we can use, which I do need to have a dabble with. Now then, we've got one research point remaining. What can I do with it? Could give them a canteen so that they have some beverages. That does seem quite appropriate. I'll do that as we march in. What I am going to do is... I've basically got free turn so these have two stars so i can maneuver <laughs> oh that sounds harsh oh, extremely risky right i'm gonna do it call me stupid or whatever you want but this could really be something immense all of these all of them now i mean every single one we can move down here because none of these can do anything because they are all <laughs> surrounded. They can't attack, they can't move, nothing. As long as we keep hold of Simurn, the only active piece of the line is the capital and Ingelhelm. So we'll have one turn to move all of these over. Then a lot of these two stars will then be on one. Which gives us enough time to move everything... Here. 
<laughs> now that would be entertaining. Think of the supply. Ooh. And yeah, let's get a load of tanks in. I mean, what can we do? Oh, American tank battalion. Oh, they I think they just use the French tanks. We can go for the British British ones. I do want ones with a cannon. Uh, we'll have a bit of everything. I mean, why not, right? We've got it all now. Oh, they're all up here, aren't they? That's right. So we'll get them moving over. I'm debating which tile to do the attack from. I do want to blow them up. Kaiser Slaten. We do still have room to do that. So we'll get them all over there. Everybody over here. More tankage. Get everybody in. Now I mean everybody. And I'm gonna move. We have new orders. Everything. Stand by for orders. And now I mean everything over to Kaiser Slaten. Because none of these can move. I'll get this done. I've done it. <laughs> can you believe this? All of our lines are now empty because these can't go anywhere because that's how the game works. Everything is here. Look at the size of that stack. Look at the number. Oh, this is ridiculous. We're going to have to keep a few here. In Sproyer. And then Simmern. Oh, we need to make sure that they can't get through there, actually. Oh, I could just bombard it from Sproyer. That'll work fine. Right, so I'll bombard it from Sproyer. Which works. That's good. It will keep them in place so they can't attack us. At least, I don't think they can. We've got five cores there anyway. They're not going to get through that. They have seven. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one more tank... And bung it in there. Just in case they get their own tanks. In fact, I'm going to do two. Just in case they get their own tanks and decide to attack Simon. Now, I do need to attack Kryznak. But I don't know if once we've attacked, if they can then attack again. Which I think they can, but they'll just be on reduced morale. So we need to make sure that they don't get another start. So we'll attack it now from Sproyer and do a bit of stuff. Some personal news while this loads. Our kid who is happily cooking inside of our lass's belly is now just past seven months gone. And I was led on a stomach the other day, and no joke, he was kicking me in the head like you will not believe. He's growing rather strong. Can't wait to meet him. We've called him Vinny. He's our first, and probably will be our only one. We only plan on having one, but he's going good. He's causing um, a nerve to be trapped, though. <laughs> So every now and again she gets pins and needles in parts of her legs and things. Everyone who's been familiar with this, I'm sure, has been, well, heard of this and knows the pains. She gets up every now and again and her leg's just dead. I mean, as entertaining as it is for me every now and again. Uh, yeah, it makes her a little bit crabby at times. Right, so we're just going to do a bombardment. We're in a blizzard, so we can still do planes. So we'll just bung a lot of men in. That'll do. They're all in there now. I'm just going to bombard them to death, really. Let's have a quick gander. Nothing else we can do. There's no point getting a balloon because we can't see anything. So we'll begin. Right, here we go. Debate. Oh, where's the recon plane? They said there was one. Hmm... Might need to have another look at the units to reconstruct. Maybe we need a new campaign to be able to get these units. I'll send a couple of planes in anyway just to see what happens. I don't want to hamper them too much. You think they're going to get a load of cash. But there's going to be tanks and things coming in. At least you would think. Making the new battle... The end of days battle. Oh, I might call it that. 
even more supreme. Now, they don't appear to have any planes, but we'll just bung a few bombers in and have at it. In the blizzard, they aren't great at finding targets, not going to lie. Well, they're just floating around for a little bit. They might blow up the odd thing. They're going to be coming in with a few men and they're just going to get murdered. Wow, they actually got further than what I thought, but never mind. Oh, we are actually destroying a few tanks. More to positions. They're probably going to get a load more in, so it'll be alright. Could even send some more bombs in, soften them up slightly. See what happens. That'll do. Let's get to the good battle. I mean, we destroyed four tanks there. Didn't really mean to do that. But it is what it is. It'll be eight. I'm sure they will get a load more in. Apparently everybody's happy with that one. That's certainly interesting. Right, so I'm going to end the turn. Then all of these will be free. None of these units can move, even though there's just empty space in front of them. Hopefully. <laughs> Bit of a risk. I did this in the previous campaign, I think. But not to this extent. Let's do it. End turn. Please don't get me. Apparently they've done a spying machine in Charlton Germain, but there's nothing there. There we go. They can't do anything. Oh, please don't murder us. Oh, minus 60. Right, we're okay. We're okay. Give them pain. Yeah, jolly good. Right, we have to take it in this one turn or there's going to be nothing left. Oh, we grabbed these one-star provinces. That's what's happened. Technically, aren't these cut off from us? Interesting. We've got two research points left. We could go for a tank refinement. Yeah, let's just get the better tanks in because we can. This is the final battle. We've got all of these troops here, which is ridiculous. Oh, if we had a harassment plane, that would be nice. What I might do, as soon as we have so many air wings here, is get the airfield 2. That will grant us more supply. We'll make sure they have beverages. I don't think we're going to need it, so we'll not go for the supply 2. But we're going to go straight for that capital right now. Look at the state of that. We've got everybody in here. Someone to count this. It still reckons it'll be a minor loss. That is ridiculous. Look at that supply low. Total available supply. 11,000. Mmm. I've never seen anything like that. That is certainly going to be something. How many troops do we have here? Wow. So many. That's ridiculous. This one's taking a little longer to load than normal. <laughs> right, here we go. The final battle. Snowy January. We've already done one big hole there, one big hole there. Oh, we've already done another one there. I was hoping to get a super large explosion in, but never mind. Gas is certainly going to be interesting. Now then, the question is, how do we approach this? I mean, we're certainly going to need a balloon, first of all. Get one of them in there, because I need to be able to see what we're doing. I'm going to see about getting two in, see what that's like. Now, we're going to need a fair bit of artillery. Or are we? We have tanks now. We've got lots of Mark IV MG tanks and the cannon ones. They're actually quite cheap to get in. I didn't think they'd be that cheap. They will be good at drawing fire. So we could get them in and just run them up with the infantry and they can absorb things. So we do want some light artillery. Bung of bits of that in. Oh, we can go for three. Three is good. Three light artillery is healthy. Now we're going to want some heavies. It'll let me, without being a absolute thing, 
There we go. Right, we've got five heavies now. That will be enough for gas. That leaves us with a considerable amount for murdering the enemy in general. Which includes tanks and infantry and things. Better set up some defences. Got an absolute leg amount of machine guns here. Loads of them in here. I don't know how clear that is to you, but I've placed them all. There's loads of them. I'll show you them later. Now the question is, where do we attack? So if we were to come down here, for example, we can then run around here quite easily. If we were to go this way, we could just, again, quite easily get in here and blow them up from that direction. We are yet to do a frontal assault from here. I mean, that is the more dangerous option, but it would be quite funny. Oh, here's a thought. How about we try and grab all of it at the same time? So we'll just have a stream of men along the entire front here. All the way along. That sounds funky. So let's add it up. There's one, two, call it three. Or even if we... Well, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. See what happens with that. Right, we've got all them in, and that leaves us with six units available. So that would be two here. Two, 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 and two. We can get six tanks in. That sounds fun. Let's do that. I'll have one of each, a cannon one and an MG one on the left. The same on the right, and, ready for orders. and in the middle, we'll just bung them in, I guess. Ah, oh, that's kind of it. In that case, because the middle is going to be a little bit more extravagant, we can have a couple more in the middle. Right, we've got the plan. So, plan is, defensive-wise, MGs will hold everything. Attacking-wise... We have two balloons, so we can spot everything, and in case one gets blown up, we're fine. Light artillery, three of them for rolling barrages of some kind. We have five heavy artilleries for gassing the enemy out. We're going to send in the British lads first. Two infantry companies are going to go for each piece of the front trench. Supported by tanks of mixed MGs and cannons. We have a large amount of air force to go in first, so we may as well do that. And set this up. Let's have a dabble. Right, we are in. First of all, let's get the balloons up in the air and... Send in a couple of air superiority planes and see what the enemy respond with. We also need to get our troops into position, so I'll get them all lined up nicely. Everybody now has orders, so they're all going to get there. There we go, two balloons. Let's have a quick gander. Pause again. What do they have? They've got plenty of troops on the left. A lot in the center. Oh, they've got grenadiers and everything. No tanks yet. Not too many emplacements, which is interesting. They must have a fair bit of supply, surely. Maybe not. Maybe we've just beaten them to oblivion. But this means that we can target emplacements a lot better. So we get some of these emplacements done. That will make things a lot easier for our men. And we'll just bung in a couple more for added measure, but that'll do. And are all wriggling now as well. Hang on a minute, where's their artillery? Do they not have any? What? No. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get rid of that balloon straight away. That's for sure. That won't last long. The men are getting into position. Still wriggling around. 
Excellent. That is going to be gone in a moment. Bombers are doing their thing. Nice. Hehe. <laughs> Balloon is gone. Mortar position destroyed. Right, here's what we're going to do. Tanks move forward out of range of them. Speed. But they're going to get take all the brunt. We have new orders. See how fast they are. A bit sluggish. Oh, yeah. Okay. That means we better move Ready these up now. Four. Let's get them somewhere Head near, and we can get the men in. Out. New Here we go. That's a thought, actually. Stand they on. are going to be a little bit slower, because it's deep snow. Forward. Head to that position. Regardless, we'll get them going. We we'll get these in the, the this bit down. of forest for the time being. For these orders. can go in here. Move out. Get these tanks rolling forward. Excellent. Let's try and coordinate this. I'm going to command Ready these men to go in the now. Attention. Take fire there ain't the going to beat them we have tanks at this orders. rate. Ready on the fire step. We have new orders. Get in position. <laughs> this is mad. I've never orders. done this. Ready on the line. Ready yourselves. On the line. Like so. Attention. Take firing positions. We have new orders. Okay, our biggest threat Ready is raiders. Oh, you moving. need to stay there for Ready a little for while. Orders. You get right up there. We're moving out. You get right Ready. in their face. Here we go. You can come Ready around here, orders. away from Give the raiders. Stand by. No raiders there. Forward. You get really close. Orders you get really close. And you get Ready super orders. close as well. We're Not too now. close to them, though. Now, they are going to be moving in. The Oh, they're already shooting. The men are now catching up. Excellent. Now we need to initiate the second phase, which is some gas. And get rid of that. Could do with gassing this, really. I might even do that. Just gas that, then they all, they're all out of there. These can shoot them. This is a piece that we're going to get in. To do with a rolling barrage going this way. Really, they need to be a little bit closer. Work with that for the time being. They are going to get in there. They are being shot. They are all being gassed. These men need to get in there. We can suppress this now. Keep that tank alive if we can. Excellent. They're now running away. I can do with guessing them. I don't like them. They are now in. We can do with guessing this lot. They're all in. Excellent. Get this moving further forward. These we want down here. We want to be able to guess this area. Like so. Let's press them for a minute. They're still fighting in these bit of trenches. Hey, look, they're just running everywhere now. We are thoroughly murdering. That tank's about to get destroyed, so we'll send it home real quick. Suppress that and just get some lads in. Looking over here, they are a little bit done in. We are still getting shot at. But really, I could do with coming back. This means now we have men in position everywhere. All along the front, we can murder anybody that's deciding to have a gander down there and down here. They seem to be throwing a load of men right first. What we could do is swapping out some of these lads. Get some of these men further forward. Swap out some of these. Could even swap out some of these tanks. We've managed to grab this bit back, unfortunately, but we're going to get a couple of tanks in and deal with that. We're going to get some fresh troops in. Let's get the Americans in, why not? We've got nine sets of Americans coming in. Excellent. We can uh, guess all of these, but we're going to do it gradually. 
So let's get some of these men in there if we can. We can... Why not gas that? Look at all them men there. That ain't going to do them any good if we just gas them. And suppress a bit of this as well. They better not be coming this way. Oh man, that ain't going to be friendly. We've got these units over here. The tanks are on their way. They'll just take a little bit of time. But they're not having a good time of this. Look at the state. They're all dying from gas. Excellent. Just the way we like it. And now they're all going to get murdered. <laughs> oh, sorry, lad. You're not going to be having a good time there. I mean, I'm going to bung another one in just because we can. We've got all of these down here which need gassing. Let's just keep gassing them for a little while. These could do with gassing. We'll just need the lads to get up there quicker. Just going to wait for the Americans to get here before we do anything marvellous. This tank is here. We can get that rolling that way. These are also in position. Now we can start thinking about moving further forward. Look at them all dying. We've got this we can deal with. Try and blow this up some. When we've got gas available, we'll gas them out and get these Americans in. Excellent, excellent. Not too shabby. We can gas this and suppress it all. Oh wow, that is being smashed. I completely forgot. Let's gas it all. And suppress them. Kind of forgot about them. They're not going to be happy, that's for sure. They're going to keep trying to push. All of that is not having a good day. Let's get these Americans in there quickly. Try and concentrate and get in this piece back. This is just an absolute slaughter. They're all dying quietly in the corner. Suppress a bit of that. We've got more gas available. Oh, there's an MG placement there, which we didn't see. Let's suppress that. While we send... I don't think we even need to send more gas in at this point, not going to lie. Right, we can get some lads in and just suppress that bit there. They're not going to be doing anything, are they? So there we go. We've got all these now. Ready for orders. Here we go. Start shooting some of these guys, eh? And we've got these that we can deal with. We could do with a bit more gas. Let's just gas them. And get some lads in. We can suppress a lot of this. Get some of these in position. We'll get the Americans going forward. Yes. Looks like they're running out of reinforcements already. That is still alive. That ain't great. We can send these forwards even and just deal with it that way. But I do want to start sending some troops this way. Let's gas even more of them. Because we can. Get these in there. And we can push forward with a load of these lads here. We don't need these in here really. Really, you can come down here as well, and so can you. Oh, really? Actually, you could have a gander going in there, and so can you. We can gas that and get them out of there. All these are going to be pretty much done. They are actually being fired at, so we'll suppress that. These really aren't having a good time. For some reason, this tank isn't shooting that, but now it is. swap that over there. We've got these Americans up here which we can rely on and get them in there. Let's move these tanks forwards. We've got room for a few more. We can get some MG ones in. 
reinforcements reporting. Oh, they're getting knackered. Just look at this, though. This is not nice to be a German right now. Guess a load of that. Suppress this. And the one behind. Really, I want rid of them. We can get some tanks in here. These tanks are doing marvelous things. All of this, for example, is just empty. Yeah, the losses have been absolutely staggering. We know. Let's get another tank in. Where's the other tanks? Let's get more in. They're not having a good day. That is for sure. At this point in time, I don't really see a point in them um, proceeding forwards. Yeah, murder a bit of them, please. That would be wonderful. They're all being gassed. This is all that they have left. How they can still be shooting, I don't know. This is just a death trap. Can't even move my men forward. <laughs> this is ridiculous. How many men are we going to murder in this? There you go. No, face that way. There we go. Well, I don't think they're getting out of this. Not going to lie. We're just going to wait for the gas to dissipate before we can do anything. But this is the end. I'm wondering how many of them we can destroy by doing this before they actually ran out of men. They're still sending some in. We'll get some lads ready to take the command trench. Oh, they've surrendered. No, we will continue the attack. No surrender this time. We have new orders. I, mean, I don't know what they can possibly do. But they're going to keep trying. I want to see if I can murder as many of these as possible. There is legit nothing left now. <laughs> oh man. These are now in here as well, so they're just going to get murdered. This tank doesn't want to shoot anything, but they're all going to get gassed. All murdered. Nice. Hey, let's see if we can get a few lads in there. I don't want them being gassed, though. They shouldn't be in the command trench. Let's have a look. Let's get a few more lads in. We clearly don't need them over here anymore. Or down here, really, for that matter. So we'll get a few lads in that way. And see about taking this centerpiece. We are murdering them, thankfully. Let's just take it. As you can see, we are still fighting superhumans because their two regulars have defeated two of our elites. And now we're just going to send in some Americans to finally deal the final blow. We've given the French a break today. They've done the bulk of the fighting. Go on, America. Your time to shine. And they are in. They didn't even need to fight. They, just, they were dead by that point. The Brits got them. But that is about it. We have new orders. You're Ready watching the, the final moments of this campaign. Get in position. Again, let me know your thoughts. If you would like another one, let me know in the comments. We'll add them all up or something. I'll do a poll on the community tab. Come and join me in the Discord. Do it now while you're waiting. Because you, if you like my videos, you're going to enjoy the other ones that I do. 
I've kind of spread out slightly, but I am going to get focused back in again, like I said, on two or maximum three games and really splash out the content with them. I do do two fresh videos every single day. I want progress. You won't be waiting long for updates. That's why I want to shuffle it back down to two, maximum three games. And I hope to get more games that are similar to this. Like I said, Bannerlord, I'm thinking uh, Stellarus maybe. We'll see. That might replace Terra at some point once Terra is done. Because that's a war crime soon be later in itself. But here we go. How many casualties? Again, guess. Now that was a lot. I'm going to guess 25,000. Let me know how far you were off. Here we go. Ooh, call that 20,000. Oh man, we only lost two and a half. That is it, everybody. The capital is gone. Excellent, great victory. Finally, the guns fell silent on the Western Front. The German offensive had collapsed under the weight of its own ambition and the combined might of the Allied nations. Its people were starving, its navy in revolt. Germany could no longer support a war of such attrition. The map of the world was to be divided among the victors. New nations would emerge. France would have its revenge, and Britain the dismantling of the German Navy. In doing so, setting the stage for the next 100 years. Many would strive for a long-lasting peace, so that no war of such devastating scale should ever exist again. Yet, with great sorrow, history would tell a different story. There we go. Excellent. Everybody, thank you for your continued support, for watching my videos, and everything else in between. Really, it's been fantastic. This is the beginning of my YouTube channel. There will be many, many, many more, and I'm continuously and committed to get this romping up. So everyone who has supported me up to this point, a big thank you. You've made this possible. Hope to see you in future videos and everything else. I'll see you later. Bye! Ooh, quick before we go. Regions captured, 13. Battles fought, 67. Wow, 77,000. Cool.